Okay, well, hello, everybody. Uh, I thought this match was maybe canceled. Guess what? It's not. And I'm happy to say because we got two teams who have yet to be streamed on the way for you today. That is to say, Top Guns. We've got Outcast. And at last, the first round is off and underway. I'm Palador being joined by Doc. Education on the side. Uh, and the co-cast, rather, as Medieval takes this uh, disc first for his team and looking for a pretty nice passing play, but going to be snagged out of there and right back to Broccoli with another return to the goal. So first time uh, didn't work, but he managed to scoop it up, work his way back along the, the backboard there and send in an anchor shot at 17 meters a second. So pretty nice work there by Broccoli. Yeah, absolutely. And... Very healthy is Broccoli. A healthy healthy goal that was. Eat your vegetables, kids. In any case, over to the tunnels. Gonna be taken by the aforementioned Broccoli looking to dish it through. And it is indeed on the menu for Outcast. Broccoli serving it up, if I can continue the metaphor. Please. <laughs> uh, early on in the early on in this game, yeah, a healthy a healthy dose of broccoli from Outcast to Top Guns. So let's see if Top Guns have eaten their spinach and if, and see what kind of return they can have. Now we're going out of the Popeye route now, but trying to pop it in over to the blue side. It's gonna be taken right back by Outcast. So Outcast sending it to the opposite trap. Medieval's in the area. So is Broccoli, but Broccoli getting stunned as uh, Carter tries to card it out, sends it off the corner, awaiting the rebound potentially, uh, well, of himself. So. Gets it off to the barrier, JC3 live with the disc now, setting a pass right below an excellent execution, Blazer, the conversion. That was really great patience, really good bubble bubble passing and, um, you know, taking it easy, not, not just going straight into the goal when they didn't have numbers. Uh, really nice work by Top Guns there. Top Guns indeed, and on that note, at the request of the Twitch there, I will activate for the next couple of minutes a bet. Channel points bet. So there you go. Be merry, be happy. I'm a man of the people. I'm a door of the people. Right now, though, through that door of the defense, need evil trying to regather that disc. Just may, but instead being left in dismay as it's cleared through the tunnel. The disc is now bouncing in toward the outcast side. We're going to see who's going to get to it first. It looks like an outcast player, but there is a stack coming. They get stunned out, and the disc will get cleared back toward mid, but on the back line, it's Tiger Striker, and he'll look to reset the offense for top guns. All right, Tiger Striker having it snagged, though, by Broccoli. Broccoli very, very active here defensively, it seems, as uh, will be maybe a grab, but just, just out of the reach of Oves uh, as they go to Medieval. Right below the goal, and uh, you can see the intention, just the execution not quite there, but a rebound will still be had. Broccoli now sending it in to OVHS, who passes it down to Brock to uh, Medieval. Medieval go can get stunned out, and JC3 will catch it, but on the back line is Splick Dot. Not <laughs> sure how you pronounce that one, but uh, he's splash, now got it. I assume. Splash. Okay, yeah, that that's we'll we'll call him Splash. He can he can correct us. Uh, but now uh, the disc is bouncing back around toward mid. What you've never seen Splash spelt like Splash? Actually, maybe that's what it is. It's just it's it's Splash. It's a more of a sound effect than a name. Whatever the case, trying to make it go Splash. It's medieval in the goal. Seven to two for Outcast. Outcast uh, really keeping up the pressure there. Uh, they had a, a few opportunities. There was some good defense by Top Guns, but they couldn't quite clear it out, and that gave Outcast enough opportunities to ultimately get the points, and now they're up by five. And Tiger Striker rolling in, trying to evade uh, Medieval. It takes a quick tap boost off of him, so disciplined enough not to get the stun, or try, try to stun, as it will be taken here by the goal by Splash and Splash. Now in the splash zone, well, being snagged out, and Blazer couldn't convert, but nice uh, defense nonetheless to at least get the attempt as it's cleared by Medieval into the intercept from Tiger. Tiger trying to find the uh, deep liner, but instead, JC3 with a disc. Back to the boots. I like the passing we're seeing here, Doc. Uh, d definitely love this, the decision-making coming from them, but just uh, once more couldn't score, unfortunately. 
Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, the disc is flying around. Both teams are, are doing great, and the stack is together now for Outcast. They're on. They're in a race. They can't quite get there though, and it will be Top Guns recovering it and sending it back through back to mid. But it bounces back, and now who is going to come up with it? It's JC3, and he will clear it through toward the Outcast side. All right, and some good boosting coming through, but. Well, it will be a clear still yet, the way of Outcast now into the Top Gun zone. Tiger Striker with a disc, going to be uh, contested by a couple players there, as Broccoli takes it back. There's that defense from Broccoli again, going to open it up for no a great snag, Tiger Striker! That was some fire, and now a slap out as well from Carter. Tiger Striker with some claws there, ripping the disc from the hands of the Outcast player and saving one and keeping his team in the game right now. That was a great save by Tiger Striker, and now Blazer is going to send it through, and we're going to see which stack is going to get there. It's going to be a race. Well, Blazing was the side of Outcast. They're going to get that to the cloud. Some brawls there from JC3. JC trying to avoid uh, Broccoli. And Broccoli again all over the place, it seems like, as a uh, OV just sends it over to the blue zone. Going to be taken by JC3, and he did see that goal light up. And 7-4. to four. Clever little bounce shot there. Uh, hard to hard to anticipate those when the player is coming right at you. And uh, JC3 just sending one in, and it looks like uh, we're, we, Demon Dreams is redeeming a hydrate. So make sure you're staying healthy, Pally. Oh yeah, I was taking care of that as you were uh, talking about that last play. So cheers to Demon Dreams. Not a demon at all. You are an angel, sir, sir or madam. <laughs> Thank you for that. As Flash takes over the uh, disc over by that tunnel, and now spacing out the floor. You can see, uh, you know, top and bottom here, uh, but definitely the defense pretty aggressive, Doc. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, JC3 hanging around on bow tie is a little bit drawn out, but uh, Splash currently not under any pressure, so he's just gonna kind of work his way slowly. He's on the ceiling. He's now working his way toward Nest. You're gonna have to respond to him, otherwise he's gonna go one on one against the goalie, and that's not a recipe for success on defense. Splash sending one in for two. Yeah, now bringing the splash zone to the orange bubble and nice, nice little move. You see kind of the windmilling around, just uh, keeping the goalie guessing when that release was coming. And But well, once it did, it was gone into the goal as an interception from Broccoli yet again. And look at that teammate already there, Medieval, the ding, the dunk and the lead, 11 to 4. Great, uh, great example there from Broccoli. He, you know, he might have might have been able to try and take a shot, but easy to just make the pass to his teammate, get the get the assist, get the get the easy two, the nice top pocket slam. So approaching the final two twenty here of round one. This is our first of our last streams of this block and uh, of this Sunday evening as a bowling ball shot will go high. Maybe in the perfect place, no, just outside of reach of Mead Evil as uh, he takes it right back and lining it up. But JC with the defense, and that is out of there. And the disc is through, but the stack from Top Guns can't quite stay together. And now it will be Broccoli to swoop it up on the floor, sending it through. OVHS on the ceiling, he goes for the mail slot. No, blo blocked by the shield. And now it'll be ba bounced down toward the outcast side. Okay, so gathering their stacks as well, with uh, about a second to spare before the orange team got there. Uh, top Guns trying to make a run here late. 130 left in this round. Uh, might be going the way of Outcast, but as was the theme in our previous streams, you still want to finish strong because that could take you a long way going into the next 10 minutes. Yep, absolutely. And, you know, it also just gives you practice. I mean, it's a very long season, um, and with Blazer stealing it there, going for the bounce shot, but not quite making it. Broccoli working his way through. So any any minute in VRML is a chance to learn, it's a chance to grow as a team, and uh, it's a chance to, to get better. Oh, and I, I was liking what I was seeing there from the side of Top Guns being very, very persistent in the offense. Still, the defense collapsing upon them from Outcast. They're doing a very nice job to just close off too many goals in this round, uh, holding top guns here to only the four points. But will that sustain? We shall see because that pass is on the way. JC3, and they make the play, assisted by Carter a la carte. And JC3 is alive with that score. 
That's got to feel good. Uh, you know, they had they'd gone a little bit of a drought. Um, I'm not sure when their last score was, but I think it was a few minutes ago. So putting some points on the board is top gun, and they're going to feel good going into round two. Absolutely. And as we wind down this first round, again, uh, first of two matches on this particular block, the last block of this week two. So uh, following this match at the 45-minute mark, so another 20-some 20, 20 minutes away from now, we will also have Baked versus Project Hope streamed on this channel and casted by uh, yours truly alongside Doc here. So with that, round one concluded 11 to 6. Great round. Uh, you know, both teams showing a lot of strengths. Um, great passing, great, great defense. Um, yeah, this is a really entertaining match. Yeah, absolutely. And we'll take a look at uh, some of those stats here. Again, courtesy, as always, from IgniteVR.gg, who uh, was also active over on Channel 3 today, uh, playing against Aurora, I believe. And I mean, all three channels and, and that primetime block tonight for a couple hours, Channel 1, 2, and 3, all had matches going on. A lot of stellar ones, uh, several master ones, about three, three master matches. I mean, yeah, you love to see it. Uh, for sure, but winding down the second week a uh, very successful one in fact with a lot of streams once more and a lot of people Getting their casts in and casting debuts in some cases. I, I know for you uh, made your casting debut here just yesterday Yeah, that's right. Uh, it took a little bit of time. I didn't have a Windows uh, machine that could run echo. I, I am a questy uh, a questy uh, but um, managed to get one on loan and now here i am in the casting booth uh living the dream uh <laughs> casting with palador and doing a fantastic job uh, i must say as well it's, it's great to see our new casters coming in uh, again on the other channel we had uh, i believe wonder t-man doing some cams we had uh heck and uh glean doing uh casting uh, as well on channel three and they were doing a fantastic job as right now a fantastic score broccoli just lobs it in underhanded the tactics, not underhanded at all. It's right in the playbooks for their first two. Broccoli starting off round two the same way he started off round one with uh, a joust advantage turning into a score. So let's see if he'll get a steal and, and send in a three the way he, he did in round one. We'll see. Uh, look at that. The aggression definitely playing a, a part, but still Carter able to get that for at least a moment, sending it into the orange or the blue zone, excuse me, and in the right place, Blazer eyeing it and now finding it. Hey, the dunk back, rebound, Blazer blazing the trail. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt and say that was a, that was a planned self uh, <laughs> backboard pass, uh, and it was beautiful, Blazer. What a, what a slam, what a finish to tie the game. Absolutely, and uh, put on the blazer because that was official. And we are back into the second round of Splash on the uh, QB, quarterbacking it here. And just eyeing down Carter, trying to evade his defense and set it the way of uh, his teammate. Oh, never mind! Oh. I take it all back, send it to the way of the goal! Excuse me for not recognizing that was definitely a shot. Five points! Uh, for Outcast, what a bounce! What a bounce! And uh, I'm not sure who it was on Top Guns, just barely missing that disc and um, that interesting geometry back toward the goal. There, it kind of it kind of redirects the disc in funny ways toward the goal, and uh, sometimes sometimes that can happen. So now it's Outcast up by five, but it's Top Guns. They're making their move. Oh, but the pass can't can't quite connect, and Outcast will successfully defend for now. Uh, JC3 though, still another go at it. There's the cross cutters, they got two of them, and they just sputtered right into the goal. It's a one point game off of that beautiful dive. JC3 live to Carter. And uh, yeah, this is a much closer round thus far. 744 still remaining. Neither of these teams is afraid. They're, they're playing with confidence. It's great to see um, round two is kicking off in a great way. Also great to see the Twitch chat uh, again have people stop it in Crystal Wolf, Pyro Games, UK Agent, as well as Thunder Dash, Mixed Gaming, Guipo, and Slow XP. Uh, always fantastic to see you guys. I hope your evening has been as good as ours on the casting end of things because it's been jam packed, like I said. 
Medieval now passing to Broccoli. Broccoli back to Medieval. Medieval working his way on the left shoulder. He passes to Ness, but stolen is Blazer, and he will successfully clear it out. We're gonna see, there's, there's two stacks. They're both racing. It will be picked Ooh. up and sent in, but not quite making it, and dinging out, but picked up by OVHS, and Outcast will recover. And a good back pass there, so OVHS. And again, if you watch this VOD later, uh, feel free to ping us on how to pronounce the names if we ever get them wrong, because, you know, always want to give all due respect to our, our players here in this league. A lot of creative names. And we will occasionally make some mistakes. I mean, with, uh, what, 1,800 people playing in this league. But that said, will be Medieval the grab. Uh, no, I'm pronouncing that right. Going Medieval on the defensive end as they go now into the stacks. Boosting for it, but Tiger uh, through the woodworks, through the jungle, in fact, is able to get a partial clear as Blazer retains. And now a another bouncy clear right back at him. And the third time's a charm, but not for long because of the arms of Splash. Splash now with a lucky bounce sends it right down to his teammate on the floor, but it will be picked up and now cleared through. And bouncing off that Geo, Splash had a bead on it, but bouncing off that Geo, he lost it. And we're gonna see who's gonna get there first. It will be Carter. He's working his way, but stunned out and now back in the hands of Broccoli. And to Tiger at the interception, quickly trying to find a teammate, but too high to reach that one. The goalie considering whether to dive, and he does, but is stunned by Jay, or by Carter, rather, as Blazer, a very nice, actually, tap boost off Medieval in order to, uh, to secure that pass back to Tiger. I like that. Really accurate tap, yeah. Carter now working his way oh. to Nest. He anchors and sends whoa. it in for three. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Carter, you talk about accurate. Uh... That was lightning quick, and that was a, just a huge anchored hit. I mean, they're up by two points after dropping that first round, and uh, looking good with five minutes still to go here. Splash now picking it up, taking his time. He's not under pressure, so he's going to wait. He holds it. He sends a pass in. Deep pass, but his teammate oh. can't quite get there. Almost a, a goal off of that clear. That said, uh, OV... Looking up uh, the teammate Medieval and Medieval looking right back at him. He has a couple options once again one cross two cross and that is a two-point goal Seven apiece now competitive as ever When you're all in the bubble and you got multiple people diving in toward goal Even if you miss one pass the the next person behind can pick it up and broccoli just like that scooping it up and and tying the game for outcast see thunder in there and Co talking about what milk and beans and you're making me hungry, man. I've been casting. I got to go eat dinner after this, but uh, you know what? This is still a meal in itself because my appetite is never satiated when it comes to Echo Arena. Uh, to answer your quick question, what are front row fans? Uh, you hover over the video player, you can see a little front row extension there. Just basically uh, for people who support the channel, want to donate. Uh, I think 100 bits is the minimum, so about a buck. You can get your get your name featured there on the the plates for a little bit, but of course. Not required, uh, just tuning in and chatting. Uh, definitely uh, way more than enough for all of us and these teams. Just glad to have you guys watching. Yeah, just some little little fun widgets for people to play with. Yeah. As Medieval is now playing with top guns, he's working his way and he's gonna try and make a pass, beautiful pass to OVHS, who's gonna send it through, but there's no one there and it's gonna bounce free, but it will bounce all the way into the zone and now picking it up is Broccoli. Ooh. Oh, but stunned out and losing it. All right back, however, Medieval takes it back. So Tiger playing some great defense, but now has to find that goal again and deny it a second time around. Uh, there it is from Blazer. Blazer sending it left lane. But immediately on the stacks, both teams actually uh, popping off and popping out, trying to look for that recovery. They get it there. It's Carter. Carter, a very powerful pass that eventually finds its way to JC. And a ding! Oh, did not love to see that. But it's back to the wedge and maybe still yet some opportunities as they pile on the disc for Tiger. Tiger stolen, stolen right back for Tiger. Tiger looking to the barrier, has a cutter. There's one and no one home though as it was a little mistimed. Yeah, just a little a little too late for one of his teammates and a little too early for another one following behind. But now the disc is loose in the orange zone. It will be Outcast picking it up. They have an opportunity working his way along the floor. Not quite sure who has the disc, but making a pass and taking it is OVHS, but not quite able to connect. Medieval now has it. Passing it to the back line and sending it in is Broccoli. 
Oh, that was some beautiful work on the team play there. Finding again the extra passes. One player, you know, Medieval could have maybe made a drive and taking that, but instead deciding I have an even better option. I'll pass it to the backboard and therefore make the goalie kind of have to, to turn around and make the defense adjust. Uh, the more you can keep a goalkeeper's head moving, the more you can keep any defense's heads moving, the better your chances are at being able to break through that defense and uh, catch them off guard for a score like that. Yeah, being goalie is hard enough when they're just coming at you from one direction, but when they're coming at you from from front, back, side, floor, ceiling, it's just it's just impossible. And Broccoli now scooping it up and clearing it out for Outcast. One direction, front, back, side to side. We're getting musical here, Doc. I don't know if you meant that, but I certainly caught my ear as it goes into the other side of the floor. The goal is exposed, and there's a few players for Top Guns. Uh, able to get that disc back. The defense is there, however, so a bit of a rush shot there. Hurried through and snagged out. Uh, only a minute, 15 seconds left, and down by two is Top Guns here, so they need to score, and they need to score soon. And they're on the move. They have the ball in the bubble. Blazer coming in. <laughs> Blazer tying the game with a minute left at nine. And ladies and gentlemen watching here, all 40 some of you guys on the Twitch. This is why I say every season, you know, I know we love our, our primetime matches there with our master teams and, and diamond teams and so on. But I say this all the time uh, with VRML because of how this is set up because of the ladder system where teams, you know, get their MMRs established and they play against other teams uh, in within their divisions. That's why a lot of my favorite matches, a lot of the most competitive matches are going to be in, uh, you know, in gold, silver, bronze, as much as any division. This one is tight. This one is close. And you can bet these teams are fighting for their lives right now to uh, claim victory on stream. Outcast has an opportunity with 18 seconds left. They're set up. They make the pass. OVHS is on the ceiling. He's looking for a teammate. Passes it back to Medieval. Ooh. Medieval gets stunned out by Blazer. And with that clear, may guarantee an overtime. Yes, it looks like we will be going into overtime in round two with Outcast taking round one. Top Guns will need to win this overtime if they are to push it to a round three. How about that? OT once again here in week two. We've had a lot of them on the streams. Glad to get another one going. These teams lining up, deadlocked at nine apiece, so now it is indeed sudden death between Outcast and Top Guns. So gunning for it, and that is on top as it drops for the Medieval Slam. It's 11 to nine, and round two taken. Game taken by Outcast. What a match, Palador. Wow. Uh, and I did notice that the, the jousting stack for Top Guns just hit the hit the shield there. They came out a little too early and uh, they got they got stunned out um, and that enabled Outcast to secure the, the disc and ultimately the game. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> basically just caught, uh, caught the defense on their heels. It was really no time wasted at all. They got that disc out of there. They recovered it in a hurry and before the defense could even react. I mean, boom. Bomb dropped. Medieval style, in fact. And that was just a huge victory. Exciting indeed was Outcast versus Top Guns. But congratulations uh, to Outcast for the victory here tonight on their VR Master League stream debut. Uh, Top Guns, still heck of an effort and almost made it to that third round. I mean, what can you say? Uh, we'll be glad to see them stream more in the future and get some more of these awesome matches. Yeah, absolutely. Congratulations to Outcast. Congratulations to Top Guns. You got you guys played uh, really well. I know my team, Team Amoeba, uh, played you guys um, last week, I think, or earlier in the week. And um, yeah, you guys are you guys are playing really well. So it'd be really cool to see how both of these teams shape up in this long season three that we have. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely a long road ahead. And of course, for anyone who's uh, wanting to join VR Master League, who may have maybe considering it or just thinking, no, oh, it's 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 too, uh, it's too much for me. I'm not good enough yet. I haven't played enough yet. This or that. Uh, not true at all. Like I alluded to it earlier, but uh, for VR Master League, it's it's all a ladder-based system, MMR system. So, you you know, your first few matches, you'll uh, kind of play to get a little bit of a. Uh, kind of a, a testing out of, of where you might, your MMR might be, uh, depending on, again, your if you win your first few, the scoring differentials, stuff like that. Uh, and then 
thereafter, you know, all of your uh, progression up and down the or up up or down the ladder is just based on your wins and losses against teams of similar rank. So if you start out in bronze, you know, you're a newer player, you're a new team, only a few weeks old, a couple months old, maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe you you know start off in bronze, but you're facing other teams who are exactly the same. You're facing other teams who started out around the same time you did, and uh, and so on. You know, uh, the more you put into it, uh, the league that is, the more you get out of it. So if you're hardcore about VR Master League and competition, scrimming all the time, playing all the time, then you're going to be playing other teams just like that. If you want to treat it like a you know more casual league for fun here, uh, don't take it super serious, don't scrim a, a ton. You can still do that, and you will still have competitive matches you'll still uh, have a chance at being casted throughout the season and it's all it's all a uh, thing we're wonderful wonderfully happy to do yeah um i i think people will often call it you know the pros uh, or whatever um but uh you know yeah don't don't let that scare you um i i made a team because i wanted to have a team of folks who were passing and playing well together and you know i didn't always get that in pubs so if you if you just want a little bit more organization, if you want a group of folks that you can learn with and, and get better with, uh, VRML is just a great great format for it. You can, as as Pally said, you know you can you can scrim two or three times a day as some of these like top master tier teams do, or you can just play two games a week uh, as uh, a lot of the a lot of the teams do. Uh, it's it's really up to you. Yeah, absolutely, and Absu there uh, agreeing with us, I think. <laughs> and the law, the law stopping by in the Twitch chat as well, uh, perhaps streaming later. So yeah, go give uh, the law a follow. Of course, the law, we just saw him on stream in what was a spectacular game, uh, intense game, and a very Jekyll and Hyde game, but it was a master class of master clashes uh, in the streams tonight. And yeah, uh, Project Mayhem, the law, good games to you guys. And go give him a, a follow and a holler. But that said, we do have until then, one more match, uh, starting in another, oh, approximately seven minutes from now, and that will be the last match here of week uh, two. And that one will be, indeed, Baked, making another stream appearance somehow. <laughs> They've been streamed a lot, but they are always in just the, uh, the, the right solo time slots, it seems like. And uh, they're facing off against Project Hope, who we've seen a handful of times as well. So that's coming up in another... Again, seven minutes from now, we're going to take a brief intermission, and we'll be back with uh, the conclusion of week two. So thank you guys, and uh, stay tuned. My name is B Love, and I play for Project Mayhem. Hi, my name is Palace, and I play on Project Mayhem. Hi, I'm The Law. I play on Project Mayhem. Hi, my name is Banzi. I play for Project Mayhem. We are excited to change up the game, create some new metas, and to create entertaining matches. Um, I think our greatest challenge this season is definitely trying to get into that super top tier of the master tier and um, competing with those guys and at that speed and just that level of experience. How we're gonna get to it is is the tough part and just basically put in the work and stay positive and just build team chemistry.
Yo, my name is Andrew. Hi, my name is Andy W, and I play on Four Kings. Hi, my name is Chrome, and I play for Four Kings. Yo, my name is Cruiser. We want to grow as a team. We're kind of a new team, and I've never played with Cruiser or Ender before, and I know we have like a new chemistry, and I think it's it's going to be good. But I kind of want to see that grow. I think I honestly think one of the big one of our biggest strengths is that we're all like friends, right? So it's like I feel like we can grow over time and become better because we're homies and friends and lovers. Naturally, we're just better. Good afternoon, Jackson Jills. I am Atsu Demui, and this is 3 Minute Meta. In this first installment, we are going to cover zones, specifically attack, defensive, and neutral zones. Before we start, everything I cover in these videos are just basic guidelines to help get you more familiar with the meta. These represent only my interpretation of the meta, and it may not be shared by everyone. So we'll begin with an analogy. In the game of basketball, the court is split into two halves. To your team, these are the offensive and defensive zones. The defensive zone is the half occupied by your team's goal, and the offensive zone is the half occupied by the other team's goal. Hockey does this as well with offensive and defensive zones, but hockey also adds a neutral zone in the center of the ice. In both sports, it is the rules of the game that define the zones and thus influence the strategies that teams develop around them. And in Echo Arena, we effectively take this concept of zones one step further. It is common, even the norm, to identify the two halves of the arena as the offensive and defensive zones from your team's perspective. But in practice, what you effectively have are two defensive zones, two neutral zones, and two attack zones. Mid doubles as both an attack and defensive zone depending on whether or not you control the disc. In Echo Arena, an offensive attack happens in two stages. First, the offense has to get through mid, and then they can set up for an attack on the bubble. There is no bubble attack before getting through the choke point at mid. In the analogy we started with, where game rules were what define the zones, here it is the level design of the arena, i.e. the geometry, e.g. this choke point, that creates this unique defensive zone. So then what is a neutral zone? For offense, this is a zone in which you tend to stage your attacks from. For defense, this is basically a zone that you do not overcommit defensive coverage to. And again, it is the level design here that creates this effective zone. With so much space, it is much easier for the offense to successfully complete passes and otherwise progress up the field. That is as opposed to mid, where the geometry creates a choke point, or bubble, where the geometry funnels everything into a smaller and smaller area around the goal, and thus these are far more viable as defensive strongholds. So in the end, it is the lack of defensive viability that creates these neutral zones. So how do you use this information? On offense, it's good to be able to predict how and where the defense will be setting up to defend. Conversely, on defense, it is good to know where your geographic strengths are, that is, what areas of the map provide you with advantages on defense. This knowledge can inform you while devising both offensive and defensive strategies and plays and may better help you make necessary adjustments during a real game. Some core concepts to always keep in mind are space and numbers. These exist on a sliding scale where more space and fewer numbers tend to favor the offense, while less space and more numbers tends to favor the defense. Numbers here just meaning the number of players in a given area. Now with all that said, what are your thoughts? Does this help you visualize the game any better? Do you completely disagree with what I had to say? Or maybe you had some questions. Good afternoon, Jackson Jills. I am Atsu Demui, and this is 3 Minute Meta. In this first installment, we are going to cover zones, specifically attack, defensive, and neutral zones. All right, everybody. Hello, hello, and welcome back one more time in week two to VR Master League because we started a brand new season. Okay, got new streams to bring you, you know, got OGs, got zero Gs. Anyways, point is, you got Palador, you got uh, Doc Education, you got a lot of great matches here today, suffice to say. I, I, I know I'm a broken record, Doc, but I can't... It makes me smile. Uh, we had an overtime in that last match. We, we've we had three master matches today. Uh, the ones we streamed went to round three, um, you know, between Project Mayhem and, and Redshift. We see the law in there in the chat as well. I mean, it's been stellar. I'm, I'm, I'm riding high this weekend. It's been fun. 
It's been a lot of fun. It's been great to cast all these games, uh, to get get up close and and be a part of it all. I mean, I, I I keep saying this, but I mean, this is only week two. I mean, this is is such a strong start to the season. There are so many teams. There are going to be more and more teams added on. There's just a lot of people having fun, playing together, making human connections in this virtual space. It's uh, it's just cool. Yeah, it is the coolest thing in the world. I agree. And, uh, oh, Twitch chat reminding me as well. Uh, here. Sorry about that. I'll give you your points, and I'll, I'll start a new poll. One last one for the weekend. So, uh, yeah, we'll do who wins this match. And again, mind you, the names. I know the colors can be confusing, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it like the, the stream overlay here. I'll put Baked on blue, Project Hope on uh, pink on the poll. So, don't get it confused. But... You've got two minutes starting now. And there you go. Thanks for that uh, redemption to FMJ 4K. I really like this channel betting feature. I don't know why, but it turns something that otherwise... I mean, there are some cool redemptions, though. If you guys don't know... Uh, yeah, so the law dash asking, you should see a predict message at the top of your chat, uh, a purple purple button there, yeah. and then you can bet your points on the team that you that you want. Pro tip, uh, yeah, if if there aren't many people who are betting on on one side, uh, you definitely uh, can win more points by betting on on the side that's that's not <laughs> a getting a lot of bets. Did... <laughs> Why did? I... You see that Twitch chat? Do you see what happens when I multitask? I said I'm putting Project Hope on pink. I think I wrote Project Pink. <laughs> you know what? That's okay. You get you catch my drift, but you can see why I try not to talk and type at the same time. It never works out. So not Project Pink, Project Hope <laughs> on the poll. You 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 get it. Whoops. It's been a long day. <laughs> I'm betting those points, but yeah, check out the channel points. There are some cool redemptions uh, you can you can see in there, and um, yeah, that word sneak is is always a fun one. Yeah, yeah, added a lot of these new uh, channel point redemption rewards, so you know can get us cast with the hydrate. Just keep us mindful of that, keep us healthy because we forget sometimes. You can do word sneaks, uh, have us try and sneak in a little little word into the cast in a relevant fashion, perhaps. Uh, but, you know, little ways for the stream to play around. You can also have your matches. Cassid is right now casting out the reel and making the highlight reel at that. It's Cameron. Three points. I mean, he slid He slid right in there um, from 16 meters out. N no short shot, earning that three. Yeah, nice hit immediately. Just eight seconds in. So a hot start for Baked. A, a big start, I guess, as uh, definitely coming out of that oven blazing. As Glyph takes that disc and uh, Titan trying to run interference here on Prime. Glyph now working his way along the left side. He's going to be under some pressure, so he's going to look to pass. He passes, but it bounces off Geo, but it will be recovered by Titan, and he'll look now to make a pass. Passes back to Glyph, and he'll set up the offense for Project Hope. And Glyph, yeah, working it up the floor. No one contesting him yet, so everyone else is covered, but he was not! So Glyph, the shot! They dove on him the last second, but he was already within four meters on that throw, so it's a good goal for Glyph. Yeah, great uh, great learning moment there. You know, if you're not under pressure, keep, keep moving the disc forward, keep under control, force the defense to come out and guard you. If they don't, then take your shot. Work all the way in. Yeah, definitely, and trying to work it up the floor now. Swag and Super Buddy catching up with their stacks and maybe about to collect this. Uh, nice redirects. They don't even lose control of that that uh, chain, which is a very easy thing to do. And right now, there's the very easy two from Super. Super Buddy taking it in on the offensive side. On the back side, it was Cameron stunning out two of the uh, Project Hope players, so... Uh, Project Hope, though, still able to make it good on the offensive end. Yeah, I'm taking that one-point advantage here. We've got, uh, looks like the bets are all in on the prediction end of things, and Mort now sending it over to Cameron on this one. Yeah, it looks like, uh, 10 to 4 favoring Project, uh, Pink. Project Hope. 
Uh, in terms of the amount of votes right now. Let's see if they can get some hope together and maybe, maybe, oh, gonna be denied for Baked. So there it is. Defense from uh, Project Hope and that's into the midline. But yeah, they can't quite clear it out and it'll be Kaladin picking it up. Kaladin looking to dump it off. Mort is right there. He tries to pass it along the, along the floor, but he can't quite get there. And now sending it through toward the blue side is the orange team, Project Hope now Picking it up, working their way slowly. They make a great pass, but he can't quite get it. But he picks it up. Swag War working his way, and Swag War sending it in. Right through the chest, causing a heart attack, perhaps, as they will attack for their 6-3 to three lead. And on the other side as well. Uh, seeing a lot of Mort doing some brawling down there. This is becoming a recurring theme now. I've noticed uh, on the, the, the baked streams that I've done these last two weeks, and there's been a few of them now. Mort is uh, kind of a beast, it seems like. Right outside, outside that bubble, he causes a lot of turnovers based off those brawls. You need players like that. Defense is really hard in this league, and working their way on offense is Cameron making the pass to Prime. Oh, oh, oh wow. what a save by Glyph! Glyph absolutely reading that perfectly, but that said, less perfectly, it's going to go back to Cameron and Co. Uh, as it's snagged by Swag, and now taken by Mort, and Mort over to the opposite port as Kaladin uh, tries to send it in, but instead gets sent out to Prime again, here in the Prime time, as Cameron looking for that shot, but denied by Swag this time, and the defense hot! Prime now, passing it back, Kaladin holding, but now stolen, and Swag War. So Project Hope with great defense, really holding it together on the on the defensive side. Yeah, call them Project No Hope, because that's all they're offering right now to the, uh, the other team here. But right now, Glyph with a disc at the trench, she's going to work it up to the tunnel. Uh, one contesting, that's Prime, but some evasive maneuvers will actually get a bounce over to Super Buddy in the right place for that. Trying to shield and now send it over. Great passing play. The duck, the shoot, the shoot, the shot, and it's 8-3 to three on that hoop. Excuse me, I'm going to hydrate and pretend I didn't flub. Even even Palador will <laughs> make a flub on occasion. Uh, makes me feel better about the 25 I've already made. Uh, <laughs> but up by up eight eight to three is Project Hope right now. And yeah, I mean Baked is having a, a great a great match. Really, just some some outstanding defense stopping them from from having that reflected in the score. Absolutely, and you know what? Fine, I'm. It's the shoot from now on. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Going on the boost, there's a boost, there's a shoot! Super Buddy! Right down the shoot, that is to say he slid in for the goal, 10-3. to 3. Now see, there's always ways to turn a flub around, I'm telling you. There's always a way. <laughs> as long as you, as long as you keep digging, right, you can get yourself out of that hole. Eh, yeah, great advice, sometimes. Until it's not. But nonetheless, 10-3, to 3, and on uh, the launch, it's Kaladin to Mort. Mort from the right tunnel, gotta be careful, because there's that stack again from Project Hope. Cameron now with the reset, but look at that on the back line, tapping it out, and Project Hope have it again, and they're on the offensive move. There is no one in goal, but Baked getting back, and now with their defense set up, they've stolen the disc and now sent it into the other side. Some good brawling as well in the mid lane. Uh, the stack's really being denied, but it will be grabbed by Swagwar. Swagwar sending it to the side up by the cloud. There's Glyph. Glyph trying to slip away and looking for his teams, uh, teammates, uh, all up in the top on the bottom. This positioning is perfect. The shot. Oh, the soft dish. You see the intentions, but it was read beautifully by that defense. Still another attempt. And with worse intentions, it's Super Buddy making sure that one is successful. That's a really great example of patience and uh, and positioning. You know, they didn't get the first uh, the first attempt, but they were in good position to get the rebound and send it right back in. And then on the second attempt, they did make the the goal. Yeah, and uh, thus far, pretty good showing from Project Hope to start out. Baked uh, can turn it up in a hurry, though, as we've seen in recent streams. So gotta be careful. But so far, this match is uh, super cool, buddy. I'll uh, just let that one hang in the air there, uh, Palador with the masterful sneak word, uh, and with a masterful re-grab here, it's Project Hope with no one in goal, Swag War sends one in for three. 
Well, it's not a sneak word if you point it out. Now it's exposed. Jeez. 15 to 3, though, for uh, the side of Project Hope. Baked, not able to find a great rhythm quite yet, but they still have some time left to uh, get something going. And uh, uh, for their sake, I hope they do. Sending it in is outcast or sorry baked uh still on the on the last stream uh super buddy super cool on the ceiling passes it back to glyph and they are in in no hurry right now they're just going to work their offense kill some time they're absolutely nothing to worry about from project hope they're just going to kind of try and strangle the life out of baked give them no momentum going into round two man that was dark but over here trying to like, get the light on the tunnel and uh indeed that is the spirit of hope right Got to be the light at the end of every tunnel as they clear it towards the tunnel. It's baked uh, with that clear. So they're going to leech off here. Maybe Prime, again, doing some good work with some stuns. But the thing is, they do need to actually get to the other end of the floor. Eventually, if they want some offense in, because the stuns, as good as they are, can only do so much right now with a minute 45 remaining and down uh, with a 15 to 3 deficit. So, yeah, needing to get it together here at the mid lane as it's taken by Prime. Maybe just taking out some aggression there. Uh with the with the brawling but you're absolutely right um baked will need to get some momentum in having only scored the one three uh they they need to get a little bit more more mojo going for success in round two yeah i mean they, they started off the round the right way but since then they've just been uh, kind of smothered by uh, the side of project hope here as once again, uh, these, uh, these attempts, I mean, there's Prime. Prime going for that right pass, but look at the dive. I mean, Swagwar was there before Cameron even caught it. That said, oh no, dirty glyph again. That has to be third save, fourth. I mean, they're between him, between Swagwar. They are just clamping it again. What in the world is happening here? Glyph back to back. Wow. Amazing defense, but Baked is still on the offensive attack. They can't quite connect there, and Project Hope will have a brief respite. They're working really hard in goal, and S Super Buddy swooping it up, and he's probably going to clear it. He will, and Swag War is moving fast. He's going to have an opportunity. He gets there first. Can he score? Can he score? Yes, he can, making it look stylish with the slam. Presidential even, 17 to three. Yes, he can, yes, he could, yes, he did. And that will do it for this round, just about. But oh my goodness, that is brutal on the defense. Even when the, pa I mean, Baked was making some good plays. They were getting some headway. They were getting very, very close to that bubble, but they were just denied head on, directly to the forehead. And with that, they have to go ahead to round two and try and find some sort of rhythm, but I just don't know how because claustrophobic is Project Hope. Yeah, you, you, you've got to have internal confidence. Uh, I mean, with sports, you know, you're, you're always going to have uh, some round, some moment where just things don't work out for you, whether for, for whatever reason, whether it's your, your own skill, the skill of the other team, just a little bit of luck. Um, I mean, that was amazing defense by Project Hope to take, take away opportunities from Baked. Uh, but Baked did have opportunities, and uh, I would expect them to convert more in round two. If they can convert a few easy ones early on, they'll build that momentum and, and maybe put up a better fight in round two. Yeah, uh, definitely. Uh, Baked is capable of that. I mean, believe me, they are a solid, solid team for sure. Uh, some supremely entertaining matches this season and last season as well. Always enjoy casting Baked uh, and uh, certainly enjoy casting and watching Project Hope. Uh, definitely putting on a smoke show of an offense and defense for that matter. It wasn't just the points. It was the defense as well that happened prior to the, the points that they scored that uh, made a huge difference. But whew, that was uh, that was insane. I'm going to hydrate, uh, thanks to Storm Wolf for that five minutes ago. I'm going to hydrate again, and uh, Pyro Games, don't worry, my, my, my voice is okay. I have a, I have tomorrow to rest. <laughs> it's, this is too fun. Round two, underway. When the teams come out, it will be Project Hope with the, with the headbutt, so let's see if they can keep up the pressure. It will be picked up, uh, or slapped rather, by Baked, and working his way along the ceiling is Cameron. He's gonna send one in, the stack is together, they're gonna get there first, but bouncing off the Geo, Prime picks it up and works his way in, Prime! gets the goal and sends Baked up by two. That's exactly how they needed to start this round. 
And a very optimal prime way to start this round for uh, Baked. But then again, uh, if I do recall, that was similar to how they started the last round. It was very quickly off the joust and they got a score, but that was the last time that they did. So definitely don't want to see the same results here in this round for Baked. It's a good start, but now they need to keep it going. Yeah, absolutely. And they have a stack together on defense, uh, Cameron and Mort, but getting stunned out and and recovering now they they do get the disc mort sending it through to the floor and who will pick it up it will be super buddy super buddy working his way and it looks like he's gonna send it in oh he got a shot will it make it no bouncing just off that pyramid protrusion there otherwise i think that would have been in yeah that was super close but not quite there uh so I'm sure Baked is quite happy about that. They're going to get the disc back as it gets uh, sent off the wedge, bouncing high and being snagged by Swag. Swag over to the blue zone. That's going to bounce very close into a ding as the players all meet each other right on the disc. Glyph doesn't miss. It's tied. Wow, Glyph doing it on both ends, uh, com coming in. You know, there's the power of a of an offensive-minded goalie who's not afraid to to re-grab in into the bubble and and pick up and score. And yeah, now showing, I mean, after that ridiculous defensive display in uh, round one, now just showing some offense and a really nice soft touch, just caressing it off of the backboard, and gently it went as Mort takes it back for Baked, and they're back on the offense. Aladdin now working his way. They're gonna take their time here. Baked, not not feeling the the pressure this round. They they they're cool and collected. Prime working his way on the floor with the backboard shot. Prime assisted by Mort, up by two. Yeah, I didn't didn't catch who it was, but uh, also credit uh, credit to the the brawler there in the goal for enabling that as well. Just uh, dealing some damage to the goalkeeper and. Well, based on what we've seen, that's pretty necessary. Yeah, uh, whether it's Glyph, whether it was Swag, he got a, a pick or two. Yeah, you don't want their goalkeepers with active hands in there, so that's a that's a good idea. Yeah, absolutely. There's, it's so frustrating when you're in goal and you just get stunned out. Uh, Ooh. And just with with that authority, Swag War with the assist by Super Buddy. Yeah, that was right in a stride. Barely any hitch that entire drive. Look at this. Just worked it in. And boom. Easy does it. Wasn't a super speedy uh, flyer and, and swag war. But hey, he got it. And then, hey, said I, I'm going to get this goal. No problem. Uh, easy peasy. Take a sip of my drink and on to the next one. That was a good pass, though. And back to a tied up game for a piece. Cameron now working his way. The pass intercepted by Swag War, though, and Swag War sends it in. We got multiple stacks engaged, and it will be picked up by Super Buddy, who makes a pass. Glyph <laughs> again sending it in. Man, you know what? Glyph is ice cold. Just put on a babushka, because he is just doing it all. He really is, and that's what you have to do in this in this league. Um, you can't rest on one set of skills if you want to advance to higher and higher levels, and Project Hope looking really strong right now. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And over here, looking really strong, well, strong-armed was Prime by Swagor. Uh, but that said, Cameron now bringing the war to him. Up top to the cloud, retained by Super and Super, dishing it back to Glyph. Glyph to the rad low, go, and they will go. For an offensive attempt now is actually they'll back it out first to Super. Super Buddy now working his way calmly under pressure, but that d bounces off and it goes back into the Project Hope side. There are two players from Baked, but the stack and Swag War comes in like a like a sword cutting through the arena and passes it over to Titan. Titan will try and make a pass, but it will be intercepted by Kaladin and then intercepted again. So the disc changing hands a few different times. Let's see who can ultimately collect it and retain possession here. All right, now through left lane. It's going to be taken by Cameron. Cameron sending it left, and it's going to be a little high and left as they get uh, the rebounds uh, for Super Buddy and Project Hope. A nice little punch, but a better snag, and right back at him again. Mort is there uh, trying to tag a teammate if they can. Resetting to the bow tie, whirling around with a juke. A nice delivery, handoff play, and ooh, would have been a spectacle to behold, but instead they lose the hold of the disc, and that is off again into the blue zone. 
but it'll be Swag War picking it up and stunned out by Mort, so maybe saving a goal there. Mort sending it through the left tube on his side, and the stack is there for Baked. They're, they've got an opportunity now, and Kaladin sending it in and tying the match. Yeah, how about that? Six apiece. Round two is so contested. Uh, and much, much closer. This is... We've seen this over and over today, haven't we? We keep seeing these second rounds. Uh, you know, the teams kind of get the feel for each other. They, they start settling down. I mean, Baked has done a fantastic job here. Just to deny, uh, you know, as nearly as many points with the efficiency that they got for Project Hope in the last round, because it was 17 to three. Now it's six to six, and we got four minutes left as they have to defend again for Bacon. They will. Uh, it's going to be uh, Cameron getting a clear right through and excellent defense again. Baked with a lot of confidence now. They're, I can tell they're feeling it working on the floor and Prime, no lack of confidence there. Prime bringing Baked into the lead again. And so now Baked has their latest lead of the match with only about three and a half minutes left. It'll be a little bit of pressure for Project Hope. In three minutes and 20 seconds and Project Hope a little bit more on their heels compared to uh, how they were feeling in round one. Super effective and confident they were and not that they aren't anymore. They certainly are, but you know, they definitely got to get that execution back to uh, back to well what they had going on because right now you can see a few struggled passes and clears the defense trying to bother that said all bothered and into the goal super buddy once more just baiting with a uh, with the fakes and kind of seeing where the goalie was gonna go is he gonna dive is he gonna try and leap nope all right i'm gonna walk it right in zero meters uh deep just for a a dunk and that's what you got to do against goalies who you know don't commit to a dive Oh, I mean, yeah, beautiful moves by Super Buddy there, just taking it one on one. And but Baked coming right back at him, and Baked scoring. How long did that take? Less than ten seconds there. Beautiful return by Baked. Yeah, oh, nine seconds exactly. It's a uh, that was that was easy bake in the oven. I'm just kidding, but uh, over there it's two minutes left on the launch. It's going to be uh, Glyph here. The hero from the last round, trying to zero out a pass to Super Buddy. Super Buddy, likewise, a uh, bounce. Well, in the right spot there is Swag War. We've actually seen a couple of those bouncers just go their favor. So nicely done. Oh, handoff play. That was dirty. Wash the dishes. Swag War doesn't miss. Uh, I love that pass as well. Tighten the extra. That was. <laughs> and any time you get the extra extra pass, it's just a little bit sweet as long as it works. Anyway. Yeah, and you can see on this replay here, Titan had the opportunity, but instead just faking the goalie out, getting the goalie to commit a, just a little bit toward his slightly the, the left side of the goalie's body, and that uh, enabled that, that brief pass over and made Super Buddy's uh, finish, or Swag Wars finish rather, uh, just the just the all the all the easier. So yeah. tied up with a minute left, we are going into the pressure zone. We're gonna see which team is gonna fold. Oh, and look at that, Super Buddy picking it up with the assist by Swag War. Project Hope going up by two. All right, one minute left here, and even less after this Joust counter expires, but trying to not expire are the side of Baked. So Baked trying to take this into a third round if they can. Let's see what this Joust provides, as actually they leave uh, one defender way behind in the dust, but unfortunately a turnover, so that uh, had Baked been able to keep possession, that would have been a great time to capitalize and tie, but instead, now it's time for some ice, perhaps, for Project Hope! Oh, the distribution, but not there, and it's gonna be right back! Oh, but Glyph getting it snagged and snared from Prime! That was a clutch save, they need to go score right about now! But their stack wasn't together, and so they couldn't quite take advantage of that. The disc is now loose and bouncing around in the trap area. Who will pick it up? Baked needs some movement here with only 10 seconds left. Here we go. Prime gets the disc. He sends it in. He's passed it to Cameron. Will he have an opportunity? It's passed along the floor. The disc is bouncing loose, and no! Round two will close. 
and baked just barely missing out with Project Hope closing it out in two rounds. Yeah, that window was open for just a split second right at the end for maybe a quick clear, a quick boost, but unfortunately, the, the past connections, they were a little bit off and they, they bounced the wrong way. It wasted a little too much time and they just could not find enough uh, speed to get themselves down the floor in a hurry. So with that, the round two and the sweep will be had by Project Hope in what was a great match still yet to uh, close the, the week here in uh, VR Master League. Yeah, absolutely. Great, great way to end, the, end a great block of games for today and for the week. Uh, if this is what we're getting in, in uh, week two, I just I can't wait for, for the end of the first cycle, the end of the second cycle. And yeah, this is just going to be so much fun. Oh, yeah. And with that, indeed, I'll complete this prediction poll for you guys. Give you your your winnings for those who bet it in favor of Project Pink. Uh, there you go. Project complete. And Project Mayhem about to stream. That is to say, the law, it sounds like. So, again, shout out to him and uh, go, go visit the law. And uh, with that, thank you guys in the stream for visiting us here at VR Master League across all three channels this evening in what was a extravaganza of a night, to say the least. Uh, so any any other last uh, last parting words for you, Doc, or shall we go have dinner and, uh, and whatnot? Because I know I'm starving. <laughs> I'm starving too. I I've been putting off dinner. Uh, I've been on a little bit of a stretch. Uh, just I'll just say thank you to to these teams for giving us that uh, that entertainment and thank you to everyone in chat. Um, just really really cool to see the community grow. Absolutely. And with that, why not? We shall raid the law. And uh, yeah, I'm out. <laughs> this has been Palador. This has been Doc Education. And this has been week two of season three of VR Master League. Until next time, you guys be happy, be healthy, be safe, and be very, very good to each other. And we'll see you again in week three. Season 3 of VRML Echo Arena is brought to you by HyperX, Rebuff Reality, Asterion Products, ProTube VR, VR Cover, Fixed Gaming, and VRWare.net. <laughs>